Hey there, Emmanuel here from WebDevFuel and in this video you're going to learn how to install Elixir using ASDF. Now ASDF is a version manager which essentially means that you're going to be able to manage different versions of Elixir and Erlang also uh, and this means that uh, it is great for you if you want to go back to a different version or be able to install the latest version even though uh, your machine doesn't have it available, in this case on Ubuntu, which is where we're going to be installing Elixir using ASDF. Now before we get started, if you want to learn how to build applications using Elixir and more specifically the Phoenix framework, uh, then I'm going to leave uh, in the description below a link to a playlist where I teach you exactly how to build applications using the Phoenix framework which is a, a framework more or less like Ruby on Rails for Ruby but for Elixir. So if you're interested in that and if you want to learn stuff like how to build a to-do application using Elixir then go ahead to the description, click on the playlist and start watching all the videos to learn all about it. But with this in mind let's continue and let's start by first of all installing Elixir uh, and, uh, and then you'll be able to use it on your project. So the first thing that we need is ASDF, which is uh, the version manager that we're going to be using and the dependencies for ASDF are curl and git. So with this in mind, let's go ahead and copy this command, which is going to be installing it on our Ubuntu server. If you're using this on your local machine, you can also follow the same instructions, but I've gone ahead and set up using Linode an Ubuntu server on the cloud and we can paste this command in here and this is going to go ahead and install here ASDF uh, the dependencies actually for ASDF now with the dependencies installed we can go ahead and copy this command which is going to clone ASDF into a .asdf folder and as you can see here the branch is 0.8.1 so with this in mind let's go ahead copy this command and then this is going to clone it here inside our home folder. Now here on our home folder, as you can see now, if we ls here this folder, you can see that now we have here a .asdf folder where we can access ASDF. But before we are actually um, able to access it and to type ASDF and then all the commands, we need to first of all go ahead and add it to our path. Now, in order to add it to our path, we're going to follow here the instructions on the documentation and in this case I'm using bash, but if you're using the fish shell or the z shell, you can go ahead and uh, follow these instructions right over here. But for bash, I'm simply going to, pay, uh, to copy this command here and then we, have, we need to add this command to bash rc, which is essentially then going to allow us to have it uh, uh, accessible on our path. So with this in mind, I'm going to edit this right here with Vim. You can go ahead and use uh, another editor if, if you prefer to use it like Nano, but I'm going to be using Vim. And with Vim, I'm going to simply come here to the end of the file and I'm going to paste this in here again to have access inside our path to ASDF. And also to have access to completions, which basically means that once we hit tab, we're going to have all the options so for example if we type asdf and then we hit tab we're going to have access for example to install and install uh, set global or local uh, versions of uh, elixir or lang so in order to have access to completions let's go ahead and also copy this command right over here and paste it here inside our terminal so this actually has gone ahead and done it twice maybe because of the connection but we can now go ahead and delete this part right over here and just leave it like this so now we can go ahead and close the file and then after closing the file we need to execute bash so bash has access to the new path so let's go ahead and type in here exec and then uh, you need to type here the dollar sign and then shell uh, and this is basically uh, this basically means that this is going to run if you have your z shell or your fish shell this is going to execute whatever shell you have access uh, active on your local or uh, on the cloud machine so now with this done we can now go ahead and simply type in here asdf and as you can see it now gives us the ability to install to add plugins and all that good stuff and that's exactly what we're going to do 
we need to navigate here to ASDF Erlang and then in here as you can see we can simply copy this command in order to add our Erlang plugin which then is going to allow us to install and build uh, Erlang from source. And now with the Erlang plugin installed we can go ahead and add all of the dependencies inside of Ubuntu that we need in order to build uh, Erlang. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these dependencies uh, but I'm not going to go ahead and install the dependencies for WX widget so all of them uh, but these ones uh, I'm not going to go ahead and install you can choose to do that but since uh, we're not going to need this I'm, I usually don't need this for the majority of my use cases I'm simply going to skip this one so with this in mind I'm simply going to go ahead and copy this going to type in here sudo so we can go ahead and install and then we can also go ahead and copy here m4 we can also go ahead and copy here lib curses lib and curses 5 dash dev uh, we also need to copy here this for building the SSL we also need to copy this for uh, connection with database purposes and then finally we also need to copy this in order to build the documentation now with all of this uh, done we can now go ahead and run this command which using Ubuntu is going to install all of the dependencies that we need in order to install Erlang and actually I've set up this Ubuntu server but I forgot to add in here sudo apt update which is going to update here all of the mirrors and is going to allow me to start installing dependencies so after doing that I can now go ahead uh, and run this command and this is going to install all the dependencies needed for Erlang so with all of the dependencies installed we can now go ahead and build Erlang from source and install it so then we can have access uh, to it on our machine so go ahead and type in here asdf install Erlang and then the version of Erlang that we're going to be installing in this case is going to be 24.0.0 Five. So again, after we run this command, this is going to start building all, uh, uh, is going to start building Erlang from source and then we'll have access to it after it. So go ahead and run this command. And as you can see, it says here that Erlang version 24.0.5 has been successfully built. So now we can go ahead and activate it globally by typing here ESDF global. Erlang and then the version that we just installed which is 24.0.5 when with this now we can go ahead and run inside our terminal Erl and as you can see we have now access to Erlang OTP version 24 so now we can go ahead and exit this navigate back to the browser and here we're going to now navigate to the ASDF Elixir um, repository and we're going to go ahead uh, and before actually before copying that make sure that you have unzip installed because on the case of Erlang it is building from source but with Elixir we're actually going to be using the pre-built binaries and for that reason we need to install unzip so simply go ahead and inside of Ubuntu type sudo apt install unzip and then run but in my case it was already installed by Linode uh, once the server was provisioned but in your case make sure that you install it and after doing that you can go ahead and copy this command in order to add the elixir plugin and with the elixir plugin installed we can now go ahead and type in here asdf install elixir and then we simply need to type here the version of elixir that we want to install which in this case is 1.12.2 and then we need to type dash otp dash 24 which means that we want to install this version of Elixir that is compatible with the OTP version of Erlang 24. So with this in mind, let's go ahead and run this command. And as you can see, it says here that uh, it is now, uh, it has gone ahead and copied release into the place, which means that it grabbed here, as you can see, the zip. That's why we installed unzip inside of Ubuntu. So it basically means that we installed the pre-compiled binaries. Now with this we can go ahead and do the exact same thing so we need to type in here ASDF global elixir and then uh, 1.12.2 and then dash OTP dash 24 
and with this in mind we can now go ahead run this and we now have access to elixir so if you type here elixir dash dash version you'll see here that we now have access to elixir and also to erlang as you can see, it is pretty easy to install Elixir using ASDF and again, the advantage of this is that it doesn't matter what version of Ubuntu you are on, you can even go ahead and install this using uh, another Linux distribution, which makes it great for you to just be able to remember each time exactly what you need to do to set up Elixir on your new machine and also to be able to go back and forth between versions of Elixir and Erlang. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like below, let me know in the comments exactly what you liked about it and also what kind of content you would like to see from this channel in the future and also subscribe to get notified each time that I release a new video.